Hi, everyone. Back for another book talk with The Last Dealership. Check it out. It's even on Amazon. Um, today, I'm going to talk about some uh, thoughts that we have on, on page 37, where we're kind of looking at, uh, starting to talk a lot about CDPs, and that's in the first edition here. And we title this section, The Painful Process of Coming Up to Speed. And, and I'm going to talk about that a bit, and I think it's important. There's a lot of talk about CDPs on the market right now. CDPs are the buzz, they're something dealers are looking for. Most of us have uh, spent a lot of time reflecting, for example, on some of the cyber incidents with CDK and some dealer groups and thinking about, okay, wait, could there be another layer to sort of further guarantee the data? But that's not obviously the main purpose of a CDP. I think the key thing now for dealers is to understand that there is a bit of a painful process that's going to happen in order to get this settled in the industry. A huge amount of dealers are looking at CDPs. Very few have actually used them. Very few have implemented them. And the reason is, is that the data is not that accessible. It's not that easy to get in. Now, here you're going to get an advantage from a CDP that understands the auto industry and is working to build connectors that are relatively uh, plug and play to the different data sources. So while it's tempting sometimes to go look far afield and say, oh, I'd love to use this you know, really cool CDP I read about uh, on the internet, on TechCrunch or what have you, just keep in mind that the auto CDPs are very modern. Here, of course, I'm talking about us as well as other companies in the industry that do it. We are building a world-class CDP that can compete with anyone outside of automotive. I mean, it's the same structures, the same ability to take data in and out. That's why we released things recently like an open API, like the ability to just push automatically through hooks that we already have into different marketing platforms. Soon we're releasing, spoiler, the ability to easily, much more easily than now, upload in new data and store it in. We're already releasing shortly in beta the ability to uh, send ADFs directly to the CDP. All sorts of exciting things that make it more and more standardized, but the advantage that we have and what can make it less painful for you is that we've done the hard work to integrate with about 207 different technology platforms. Now, when I say integrate, I'll be clear. That doesn't always mean we have a partnership with them and, and they have APIs, they often don't. But we found a way to get the data in and found a way to, in many cases, also push data out. So when you're looking at a CDP, I would definitely do your due diligence, but you need to really make sure that the data ecosystem in auto is accounted for because that's what's gonna make it either extremely painful or far less painful. That's what's gonna enable you to get that thing installed and within a few weeks already have tremendous value and tremendous impact on your business or still be working on it after a year and frankly not get much upside once that year's over. So just a recommendation and tip, uh, obviously in my own interest, but people who know me know that I say it the way I see it uh, and that's the way I see it. Thanks.